This is the story of cheering fans, fans of hockey, of boxing, fans of rock and roll, of ice skating, politicians and princesses. It's the story of the rich history of Maple Leaf Gardens and the prosperity and good times it brought to downtown Toronto. These early events reflect the social life of the neighborhood, its cultural diversity. Maple Leaf Gardens was more than a hockey arena. It was a place where people gathered to enjoy the popular culture of the day. When the doors opened in 1931, downtown was the place to be. Maple Leaf Gardens was the heart of a neighborhood. And then, it wasn't. Things changed. The team packed up and moved, leaving the gardens with stories to tell, but no one to tell them to. The once vibrant downtown fell into a funk. The area was a sea of empty lots. But someone had a vision, a blueprint for the rebirth of an icon. The transformation of an important piece of history began, and so did the heartbeat of a community. It took a massive effort to rebuild history and give it a new lease on life. Special technologies to keep everyone safe, structural and geotechnical challenges to overcome. To convert the 80-year-old gardens into a retail space, the interior of the building had to be demolished and the inside had to be lowered one level and rebuilt. A seemingly impossible task since the bleachers supported the exterior walls and the historic facade. With only a small door opening at the back of the building and exterior walls that depended on the interior structure for their lateral stability, readapting the gardens was much like building a ship in a bottle, except that the bottle already contained a ship that had to be carefully dismantled piece by piece without breaking the bottle. The project presented a complex structural challenge. It was a heritage requirement to maintain the historic facade and the vaulted roof. All this had to be done while the interior bleachers were being demolished and the foundations lowered to accommodate a new below grade parking level. The demolition sequencing the lateral stability, underpinning, all of it had to be incorporated in the design. We needed to make sure that the integrity of the historic facade and the existing building elements were maintained throughout the demolition and reconstruction. And we did just that with our own highly sensitive fiber optic monitoring system. The legacy lives on. standing inside a perfect example of how a strategic infrastructure investment can create jobs, can preserve our history, and can meet the need for a new facility. The charm of Iconic Arena remains intact. The spirit of the original building lives on. It's a part of the fabric of the community. The intersection of Church and Carleton is alive, thriving, and providing value to the downtown community once again. And we're proud to have played a part.